Hello, criminal defense attorney Mark Rosenfeld here. I wanted to talk for a minute about a recent victory I had in court on a jury trial. My client was charged with driving with a blood alcohol level of over a 0 0.08. That is the normal legal limit. In this case, the allegation was that the blood test result was a 0.18. Trial lasted seven days. And at the, at the end of trial, the jury came back and acquitted my client of driving with a blood alcohol level of a 0 0.08 or above. So what happened in this case was the prosecution had a blood draw of my client and the blood was taken by the by a phlebotomist, by an independent uh, company that comes out and draws blood for the sheriff's department. The sheriff got the blood draw from this phlebotomist, from the blood draw uh, technician, and they stored the blood, transported it to the crime lab, stored it at the crime lab, ultimately testing it, and it came back with a result of a 0.18. But what we were able to show at the jury trial with the use of defense expert testimony is that there were issues with the blood from beginning to end with the chain of custody, how the blood was drawn, how the blood was uh, handled by the sheriff's department, how the blood was stored at the sheriff's station, how the blood was transported. There were issues every step of the way. And what that caused was problems when it got to the lab for analysis. And we were able to see in the lab analysis raw data that there was evidence of contamination in the blood sample. The mishandling of the sample of the draw and the storage and ultimately the testing showed that in the sample itself there was evidence that the sample was breaking down there was contamination and the sample was not trustworthy or reliable. As I said, the trial took seven days, but at the end, the jury understood the issues and understood that the blood was not trustworthy or reliable and came back unanimously not guilty of driving over the legal limit because the district attorney's evidence was not trustworthy or reliable and they could not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that this blood sample was a good sample. Every case is different. That's one example of what can be done with a jury trial in defending a case and getting a not guilty verdict. If you've got questions about uh, driving under the influence cases, the handling of a blood sample and analysis, I'm always happy to talk. You can reach me directly at 310-424-3145. I handle criminal cases in Southern California. Every case is different, but give me a call and we'll discuss what the best option is for you. Stay safe.